Alrighty, let's play this. As always, we got a front, a side, and a three-quarter. Looking very cool. Wing moves are nice. There's some good action there. Like the, the flow is nice. If I'd be super picky, I'd probably take a couple frames out of this out. By a couple, like one <laughs> or two. Maybe two. Just give a bit of a strong, just a bit of a stronger. Just a little bit. It really might just be one frame. But it feels really good. I think my main comment would be just uh, in terms of polish, just complexity. There's some good stuff going on in the legs. The front and back is cool. But if you look at it, it's, for instance, like the head, actually. Let me clumsily make this bigger like that. Okay. So if you look, for instance, like everything still feels very one axis. I think the legs feel like they have a bit of an arc like that, which is cool. But what I would push more is that when the arms are out, they would be a bit more out this way. And then, I mean, not that twinned straight, but just a bit more further out. And then so that on the way up, they go in more. So they have that going in move as they're being pulled down from the from the delay, from the drag overlap there. Same for the legs. The tail can have a little bit more left and right. And then, for instance, as the head goes up here, it's all very straight. So now you would add a bit of a rotation and we'll roll there. So it has a bit of a, whew, like a sideways, yeah, a bit of a whew, there. That's a technical note, a whew. <laughs> Just to give it a bit more rotational complexity. And then for the wings, they all seem very mirrored. So now it would be like one would be a bit more than the other. And then here, maybe a bit less. And then maybe at this point, this guy overtakes it. And then here... It might be higher. Even like this, there's, there's a bit of an asymmetry throughout, but not taking everything and delaying everything by two frames. It just be a bit more of a, a messy organic. At some point, one is further along than the other, and so on. And this could even be like seeing a bit more of the wings down here than on the other. So just giving this a bit less of a uh, a mirrored pose feel there. Yeah, so rotations there. It, it will also take the the slight translate look feel out of this every now and then it'll just help a bit of roll there and i think generally it's cool because you got your have a look at what the wings are doing it might be a bit strong in this direction change like that maybe smoothing that out if i'm super picky giving this you know i don't want it to be super smooth <laughs> Otherwise, I'm contradicting my, my organic offset messiness feel. But if Ape Picky just feels like they break up and then go over. Maybe a little bit of a smoother, little bit transition through there. But it's not something that, to me, like breaks the shot. To me, it was more about, hmm, the wings feel a bit too symmetrical. And the head is a bit too one-axis. And the head, and the, there could be some left, right, out and in in the legs. That was my immediate reaction there. And I think let's leave it at that. Well, actually, another look at this here again. I would, I would stiff enough, stiffen up the toes a little bit. They're a bit soft, like they're this soft little claw thing that goes whoop whoop. I don't think I would go as far where it's that flat. I would probably just go maybe here, and you can always curl a bit more. But I wouldn't go that loose. They feel just a bit like they just fell asleep. <laughs> Dragon woke up, everything's falling asleep here. Oh, I gotta fly, and then they're still waking up here, and they're just kind of bling dangling. I think that could be stiffened up a little bit more. I think that's kind of that. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.